Hello, survivors. Welcome to the State of Decay 2 stream. I'm your host, Jeffrey Card, and uh, Rand's <laughs> pointing at some things, and I don't know what he's doing. But uh, we've got pretty uh, kind of a chill stream today. It's going to be me, uh, Brant Fitzgerald, and uh, let's just show him right here, Joe Swarner. Uh, right. so these, oh, I'm the thigh master. You're the thigh master. Brant Fitzgerald Great. is the calves of steel. Great. <laughs> So uh, we are here to uh, to do a Backstreet Drivers stream, which means that uh, if you guys have any ideas for limitations, uh, rules that we should follow while we're playing, just chime in in the chat. We'll try to notice as many as we can. We won't say yes to all of them because we literally couldn't keep track of them all if we tried to do everything you, you folks said. But uh, Joe's a better chat reader than I am, and so he's probably going to be the arbiter of what goes into the game and what doesn't. Brant's going to be playing, and we're going to talk about some other stuff. We've got uh, updates on the suppressor bug. We want to talk about sort of our plans for uh, announcing big stuff going forward. And uh, we've also got a giveaway going on. We've got a, uh, what is this? Right here. We've got the Fork in the Road Diner. This is our last Fork in the Road Diner t-shirt. That's a unicorn. We don't have any more. This is a large. Uh, so if you're interested in this, uh, you can hit exclamation point enter. I'll put that on the screen a little bit later uh, to, to enter the contest or enter the, uh, the giveaway. And around 3.45 Pacific time, about 44 minutes from now, uh, we're gonna announce a winner. So you got until then. Uh, Brent and Joe, you guys ready to get started? Yes. Let's unpause. Let the horrible dying begin. It looks like I'm already hurt, so I, thank you to what, whoever what, did this. I think this was you that you did on? this like a month ago. Thanks, Brant. Month ago, Brant. <laughs> or a month and a half ago or what, something. What difficulty are you on, though, Brant? This is Nightmare. Yeah. Oh, okay. I only play pro, Joe. Right. <laughs> so, for I anyone... Forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. So, for anyone I'm who wants... So bad. Anyone who wants to enter this giveaway... Uh, hit exclamation point, enter in the chat. Looks like a lot of you are already doing it. This is a unicorn t-shirt, only one left, so go for it. Uh, also, a shout out to Kansas City from the, 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 whoever it was on YouTube that said uh, hello to us from there. Congratulations to you and your football team. For what? For winning, <laughs> for winning the Super Bowl, Brant. When was that? Yesterday. Was that a big thing? It might have been. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was playing RimWorld the whole time, but my wife told me who won, and it was great. <laughs> no, I, I watched the highlights. It looked like it was an awesome game to watch yesterday. Uh, Ms. Renee Flowers, I do occasionally play with the fans, and by occasionally I mean frequently. They just don't know it's me all the time. So, uh, Little Man wants us to try to kill a Juggernaut with a knife. I'm not sure if they're making a rule that we have to kill any Juggernaut with a knife. Is it only the last kill that has to be done with a knife? Or, because that's every, almost every Juggernaut kill. The last right. kill is with a knife. Well, is he saying knife only the entire I may wipe. I may wipe this community just trying to get back. <laughs> yeah, right. So let's, let's say, until Brant gets home, no rules. But we can start <laughs> instituting rules once he has a chance to recover. Oh, I can't say, I can't say. Uh, well, well, it's a good thing that I didn't say that then, JBG1K. What I said was Superb Owl. <laughs> the Superb Owl, Unless, yes. of course, that's been trademarked uh, by... Uh, it probably would have, yeah. By, uh, what's his name? Some, some entity. Stephen Colbert. <laughs> yeah, I can right. make it. I can make it. I'm sure you can. Uh, so while Brent is limping home, uh, we should probably talk a little bit about uh, the about the suppressor bug. So when we launched Update 14, there was a bug in there that we did not anticipate uh, that actually managed to get fixed pretty quick. Do you want to tell a little bit of the story about that, Joe? Okay. So essentially, um, this one this one is a is a, is a nice uh, shout out to um, some of the members of our community. You know who you are, uh, who helped me out quite a bit. And uh, they found, what they found in the, the numbers was something that we thought would only be in, ter in an internal build. And so essentially for every suppressor that was not your basic, uh, the improvised one, which was the lowest level, everything was being multiplied by a negative five. Um, so essentially it was always at its lowest level uh, of, of value. And so uh, it, it should be fixed, Red Kuga. Uh, We'll, we'll talk more about that as we go on. It's a, it's a little bit more complex, um, but the numbers the numbers are a little bit fixed. They're they're now about halfway, they're about as half half as uh, useful as they were before. So now instead of taking 306 bullets to kill a plague heart from point blank range uh, with an advanced suppressor, it should only take you about 86 or 87. 
Um, and that was that was by choice because we wanted to make sure that there were some more interesting choices being made in terms of what people use in the game. Um, so uh, essentially, what's happened is uh, what that what that did is it it took your your range. Uh, the effective range, there was a fall-off point A and a fall-off point B. <laughs> Brent has no good choices. Yeah, he's got two people left. This is, this is over. Um, but there was, there was a fall-off point A and a fall-off point B. And um, fall-off point A was being multiplied by a negative point 0.5, which means that it, was it, that your, um, it would start degenerating down, to, down toward uh, the, the, the longer range um, at negative 40 meters from you. <laughs> yeah, so anything, so anything you were aiming at was, that was negative 40 meters behind you, that would take 100% damage. But anything <laughs> anything in front of that was quickly running down toward the 20%. Yeah, so basically if you were if you were point blank range of something, it was acting like it was already 40 minute meters away. Exactly. And we have, you know, we have we have damage fall off, you know, on, on all of our weapons, but when you add a suppressor, it makes the damage fall off more dramatic. And so it was just making it so dramatic the guns were practically useless against anything that's a bullet sponge. Now, against like, a zombie with a headshot, it was normal, right? Because zombies just always die from headshots no matter what. But against bullet sponge characters like the Juggernaut and the Plague Heart, it was a much big, bigger deal. Right. Um, and so we, you know, I, I think we, you know, I should talk about a little bit about sort of the motivation behind changes like this because uh, we, we've had situations like this before where, uh, where we've made tuning changes on the game while it was live, and a lot of folks uh, were... <laughs> we're, we're, we're kind of upset about the changes. In this particular case, it got so bad because of a bug. And that bug was an accident. And the bug is now fixed. If you play the game connected to the internet now, uh, you will, you'll get you know, an update to that one stat. We kind of did one of these kind of rare, risky updates that happen without a big, huge download. Um, and so you know, you, you'll get a fix to it. So now it's actually tuned the way we, we were intending to tune it. Uh, but we still did intend to tune it, and there's some folks uh, in the audience who who are you know not too happy with just even the intentional tuning that we did. Um, I mean, ultimately, it was an attempt by us, and when we had the tuned right, I believe a successful attempt to actually make uh, a more marked difference between brake, muzzle brakes and suppressors, and actually make the brakes give the brakes a purpose, because up until. We yeah. did this. They There's kind of no reason to ever attach one. And yeah. Then, so that so that's the thing that, that that we were doing. So so what motivated this from the beginning uh, was that you know like uh, Brian and I were looking at different parts of the game uh, that where there were where there were like uh, items or weapons or you know, facility, uh, you know, facility stuff, whatever. We were looking for parts of the game where there's stuff that players never used. And we were like, if someone never uses this, there must be something wrong with it. And we, we should try to do something to change it so that people will use it. So people will actually find that the game has more interesting choices available to them. Oh, and, wow. uh, and, and, I, and I think that that's a, um, that's a good motivation, right? Uh, and so, in fact, you know, that was the reason why we did the cargo expansions in the, uh, in the Apocalypse vehicles, which I think were pretty well received, was because we noticed nobody was ever uh, using the Wichita ES. Because the Wichita, um, it, it, you know, it has this big cargo pod, but it actually only had four slots. And nobody wanted a car with four slots. They could already get one of those in the wild. They didn't want to upgrade to get a car with four slots. Uh, that was boring. There were like other cars were obviously much better uh, to upgrade to. So nobody was making that car. Um, and so we upped his cargo capacity from four to seven and made some positive tweaks on some of the other ones too because we wanted that vehicle to have some value to it. Um, and so, and I think that was successful. Uh, the, the place where, where we run into some headaches is when we start making things less powerful in order to elevate other things. Uh, and that, that's where it gets a little bit more, more controversial. And we totally understand that. But we've been, we've been hearing, you know, a lot of the feedback people have, have been giving to us about um, the effects that this has because, you know, when you reduce the damage that something does, or you reduce uh, you know, the damage that it does at range, uh, what you're doing is basically saying that you have to shoot this thing more times, which affects the pacing of the game, it affects the strategy of the game, um, and you know, it, if somebody liked the way it was before, that can be a difficult pill to swallow. And so, uh, so we're gonna be looking back uh, at, at, at the choices that, that we made there, and, we're, and we've been listening to all of the feedback, and so I can't make any specific promises about exact things that are gonna happen as a result of this, but I do want you to know that we're, we're paying attention to the feedback the folks are giving to us, and, uh, and we wanna make sure that, uh, that, that the tuning changes we're making are making the game more fun for you, and are not uh, just, you know, just messing up things that you enjoyed. So again, we can't make any specific promises because I mean, actually, ever since that 
time that update went out, uh, Brian and I haven't even been in the same building uh, at the same time. And so we got to make sure that we, we really want to put some time and care into getting it right. Um, and so, but just want you to know that we're listening to, and at some point in the future, you know, there, there could be uh, further updates to this that, that, that take into account your feedback. That's a lot of talking about me, but... <laughs> yeah, no, it, but, but I mean, essentially that's what it is, right? Like, uh, there, we wanted to see people using the integral suppressors that uh, come along with uh, the echo weapons more, mm -hmm. for instance. Just, little yeah. just little man, the... I'm not going to try and kill a bloater with a knife. You're not going to trick me. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, certainly not when both of your characters are almost dead. Well, th we're going to get wiped. There's no way I can do this. <laughs> I saw the jug. I'm going to have to uh, CQB here in a second. I'm going to have to. Oh, look at that. I can actually build. Let's see if I can get home. Yeah. And, and finding finding a crossbow isn't necessarily difficult, but finding the Echo X3 repeating crossbow, <laughs> that's that's a pain. And, um, you know, the, the, crossbows are, the crossbows are great as long as you can stay, um, you know, hidden. But the moment you run into a feral pack on Nightmare, the, the, the limit of only having one shot available sort of makes... You're done. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're done, son. And, the, uh, you know, and Nightmare is also an interesting case, because I think in, in, in both of the other uh, zones, in Standard and in Dread, you know, having a gun that's loud isn't necessarily a death sentence. And so uh, what we were hoping what would happen is that if we made brakes more powerful, made suppressors less powerful, uh, people would start looking at both of them as viable options when they're, when they're playing the game. Um, and that, you know, sometimes you want a break, sometimes you want a suppressor, and we wanted that to be a little bit more of an even choice. But, especially on Nightmare, but also with some people's uh, you know, tactics that they use in, in, in Standard and Dread, um, it actually turns out that when we, that suppressors felt so essential that if we reduce the power of suppressors, it just feels like we nerfed the game for you. We nerfed your characters. Uh, is is how it feels to a lot of players. And so and so that was a perspective that uh, that was really useful for us to hear from from you, the audience, uh, because because you know that you're the ones who are playing the game all the time. Uh, you know, and and there's so many like millions of you out there having all of your own you know unique individual experiences. And hearing that feedback from you uh, is is really useful uh, to us. And so the thing that's nice about you know working do on we, a game. Do we have a suppressor in there? Oh, maybe we do. I don't know. We are so dead. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, if you want to just go out in a blaze of glory, feel absolutely free. Uh, maybe we should just ask players how you should die. Um, well, I mean, we already we already got that right. It's I have to go <laughs> to stab a bloater. Go stab a bloater. No, I don't even know I have we to, have. I have to go animations for that. I have to go stab a, a juggernaut. Oh yeah, oh that's right. You have to stab a juggernaut or a bloater. I think yeah. The, the, I think it might be the same. I think it might that might have been Little Man both times. Say that you should stab things with a knife. So maybe just go out without a uh, without a melee weapon. That's and just see exactly what, you can do. what I'm doing. I'm loading up on on greasy snacks, and here I go to my doom. Hope you guys are happy, because there was a juggernaut over here at one point. Yeah. So let's just. Hey, juggy. Hi. Hi. Nice barbecue running towards you. There he is. All right. Oh yeah. Well, this will be quick. Yeah, good it's stream, good juggernaut. stream, everybody. <laughs> so, I'll wait to talk about our next topic until after this has been resolved. After this like, horrible murder, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't interrupt this. I wonder if he can see me behind. Do uh, yeah. you think he's can nope. see me? Oh, oh yeah. No, nope, no. Nope, okay. He's just, he's just I'm, a little annoyed at that guy. I am just a fence post, Mister Jug. <laughs> <laughs> I am simply a okay. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Knock her over. Uh, Vinbo Zinbo says, Brant, just get on a car at eye level and poke him in the eye, LOL. Oh, oh no. You don't look. Oh, he's mad at that zombie. He's like, get out of here. Oh, jeez. No, I'm, I'm a rock. I'm just a rock. <laughs> so if you actually do take this guy down, it's going to be probably the most epic thing we've ever accomplished on this stream. No, I'm that good. I am that good. Just make sure you stay to, the, to his left flank. Uh, uh, take that. Uh, and then I'm running. Oh, I'm running. <laughs> Somebody says that you should play this uh, uh, Dark Souls style and just, just roll, roll, roll. No. Nope. Uh -oh. I like to get hit and fall down. That's how I, that's how I play. That's oh, a good plan. This is even better. Those are, those are good. No, this is, no! This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. No, things are fine. SXO things. says, Juggies only want Huggies. Um, they want diapers? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Stop charging. 
<laughs> I'm right here. You don't have to do that. Yeah, huh. no, oh, no, I don't. I don't think. I don't think Jeffrey's gonna do any of that. <laughs> wearing, wearing tights if the juggernaut goes down. Yeah, no, I'm not making any promises like that. <laughs> I think it's. I am way too vain. No, no, get up, get up. You can't. You, you're done. You don't have a. You're a, done. You don't have a perfectly styled mohawk like this unless you're incredibly vain. That is. Jonathan is dead. Wow, and he <laughs> threw the top half of my body at least half a mile. <laughs> uh, you, were, you were flying like a car. That was amazing. Hey, look, wow. it didn't even let you choose which survivor to take <laughs> next. <laughs> you think she's feeling good about her lot in life right oh, now? She's healed up okay. That wasn't yeah. too bad. Oh, um, yeah. She's brimming over with health right now. <laughs> What kind of damage does she have, actually? Let's, She's got let's see. I need to uh, go over here and find out what her major problem is. Well, she's infected, for one. Gas inhalation, missing chunks of flesh, <laughs> bruising. <laughs> missing scrapes. chunks of flesh? Is that a thing? Second degree burn. Yeah. Who added that? Uh, I wonder. That All right. was probably Brian. Oh, man. Was that Brian? That was not on my first list of, of injuries. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's just cosmetic. There's nothing really wrong with her. <laughs> Except the fact that she has all these guns on her, which pff, nobody wants that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I could, let's see if she can learn a new skill. At least she learned gardening before her death. <laughs> before she died. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, bucket list. You gotta have a bucket list. Okay, it's really bad that I don't have. Do you have any play samples? <sighs> you have I got, one. I have one. You have one play sample. Nice. I don't have any snacks. Can I make any with the kitchen? Probably not. I don't know. Here. I forgot to put the rules up on the screen, so now we got rules. Yeah, we got one rule. We got one rule, knives only. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna make as many snacks as my inventory will let me carry. <laughs> nope, oh, there we go. So while you are working on that, uh, I should hit our second topic. And our, actually, you know what? Our most important topic actually is that we're doing a giveaway. So if you just joined us, check out this nonsense. This is a limited edition t-shirt. It's limited in that this is the only one that exists in our building. Uh, it's a large, so you know, bear that in mind as you're deciding to enter this thing. It is a Fork in the Road Diner t-shirt, the only one left. And you can have it and a pile of stickers and pins uh, if you just hit exclamation point enter and you get lucky. So I should point that out first before we go on to other subjects. But, uh, so we did get some feedback from folks after our last stream that said, you guys said you were going to do a big announcement in January, and then in January you show up and you talk about this bundle up pack? That's not a big announcement. And people got, you know, pretty upset about that, and that's understandable, because we did say that we were going to do big announcements in January. In fact, in December when we said that, we believed that we were going to be doing big announcements in January. Uh, at the beginning of that stream, that first stream that we did in January, uh, we we said pretty much, you know, straight up, we had an announcement we were planning on doing today, and we didn't do it. We delayed it. Uh, some things changed uh, in our plans, and we had to put it off. So we have put it off. So that no. So the bundle up pack was not our big announcement. In fact, the bundle up pack is such a small update specifically Ouch. because we have big things coming oh, no, that we're working on uh, that did not go into that pack. So, no. uh, I was about to say next month, but it's this month now. This month, we are going to be making big announcements. Uh, maybe in just a couple of weeks. Oh, great. There's a... Now we... that oh, guy's and now there's a bloater. Oh, you're supposed to attack both of them with knives, too. Uh, come on, dude. Fall, 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 fall. Trip, 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 trip. <laughs> <laughs> What? That's the world worst <laughs> juggernaut. So, anyway, just wanted you to know. Oh my God! Obviously, the bundle up pack was not our huge announcement. We still have huge announcements in the future. Uh, we had to put them off because of circumstances that happened during the month when we were off the stream, uh, or we would have said something sooner. But uh, yeah, so that is that is what's going on there. Hopefully, oh no, nope, here we go. Community wipe. That's what we're here for. So I think. Let's let let's start over with these rules. Let, let let's uh Yes. We're only gonna have one rule so far. We'll add a few more. We're Good wearing, thing we got that covered. Yeah, we got the, yeah. this, the tights. <laughs> this is tights. Tights, tights there. Are, no. We're wearing tights. <laughs> <sighs> They're far more comfortable than I thought. So <laughs> thank you so much, Fallout Girl. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you, she's added something new and beautiful to you guys' lives. <laughs> oh, no, she added something new to your life. She added something beautiful to my life. There you I'm go. sitting over here uh, <laughs> with a much better view of the action. They need to do something about... Yeah. I guess that's why they're called tights. <laughs> All right, new community. All right, so Tom suggests that you should loot ten buildings without killing anything. Do we want to try to go with uh, pacifist mode and see if we, uh, see how much we can loot? Ten might be a lot that would take up the whole stream, but maybe we want to you know hit a, hit a couple. I'll do a couple and I'll I'll up the ante. I will uh, fast search everything and I won't kill anything. <laughs> okay, there we go. So you might have to flee, I imagine, right? Uh, well, let's okay. Let's see here. Yeah, there'll be lots of running. Except it'll be nice because I won't have, you know, compound fractures to start the game with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Wear tights. Loot without murder. Uh, let's, uh, oh, let's see here. Let's get me off the screen so we can start looking at who these people are. Got a railroad engineer who has imposter syndrome. It's like, oh, man, all those really good engineers out there, I'm not one of them. I yeah, don't really I mean, fit in with all the other railroad engineers. Does he have, like, a little model railroad in his basement that he's actually the engineer of? I don't know. Do I have to go with these? Okay, yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Okay, well, let's see who they are. I, I want to I get to know them a little oh. better. So, okay, so we've got, uh, so Arshad is into ultimate frisbee and a voyeur. Okay, so maybe he attaches, uh, you know, like a GoPro to his frisbee and just throws it up somewhere? Uh, and then we've got Harapreet, who is MCP certified. Oh, wow, he's a Microsoft guy and uh, has an incredible immune system. You know what? That guy might be your guy for Nightmare. Except, except Mr. Cardio here. Oh, I yeah. like him, too. <laughs> All he's right. A, he's into Ultimate Frisbee. I don't know if we could put razor blades on the Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a promise. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, what was, that's, uh, not, that's not a promise. <laughs> I think, didn't Digital Extremes make a game that involved throwing a frisbee with blades on it? It's like, that was your main weapon? Well, there was a... Uh, um, well, God of War is basically a frisbee with blades right, on it. Right, but that's everything he throws <laughs> happens to take people's heads off. Yeah. No, um... The... Ah, hmm. uh, crap. Uh, Old no. person. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> um, uh, the guys who made Doom did... Uh, Oh, it made a... Uh, what was the post-apocalyptic so one they made? Rage? Rage 2. Oh, two. yeah, you had that little bladey thing you would that's throw. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It would, like, go and hit multiple okay, people I'm and skipping this. rip all their heads off. Yeah, that's great. It's like Krull, if anybody <laughs> yeah. ever saw yes, that Krull. back in the day. I remember seeing ads for Krull and not being allowed to watch it. Not because it You was... didn't miss anything because it was... <laughs> I mean, it was a really bad movie. But... So, yeah, I don't know if it was inappropriate for me at the age I was at at the time, but I think it might have just been that my... Dad was too much of a connoisseur of good science fiction and just really didn't want me to watch things that were So your bad. dad didn't let you watch Zardoz either, did he? Uh, no, no. He made me watch Zardoz what? when I was old enough. Uh, <laughs> Zardoz is in what? a category of its own. Like, this is the thing you should never do, kids. <laughs> Don't. No matter what you do, son, if you choose to follow in my footsteps as a science fiction writer, uh, don't do this. I, I never... Uh, so it's okay. I watched Zardoz on a laser disc this big. That's how long ago I sometimes No 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 I think I think you're I think you only think it's that big because that was that what the was 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 in relation oh, to you. To me, because I was so They were the size they were the size of regular records. <laughs> oh Freak Dog suggests that we you should use a fifty cal rifle only. Uh, uh, find one. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if he started with one. If uh, I can find one or buy one with my two points of influence. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'd gladly pay you Tuesday for you a one. 50 caliber today. I can find oh. you one. Uh, you oh. know where one there is. Well, there's no guarantee. Little, little man right. just there's suggested. Not, but you, I know where to find them. Little man just suggested that you could have uh, broken open this rucksack to, to to fuel up your car. Too late now. Joe has taken over because he thinks he knows where a uh, 50 cal is. Oh, really? What okay. Let's see how this goes. This this guy doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't play this game. I know nothing. <laughs> You're gonna break open the rucksack and drive the car. Aren't I already you? broke up. I already did that. Remember, if you if you're going looting for something, you can't murder anything at the site. But I'm not looting anything. I'm just murdering things. Yeah, but but when you get to wherever you you're get gonna to get site, that fifty you cal. You can't. Yeah, you can't oh, use okay. it. And fast search. You have to use fast search and everything. Oh, well, there's a feral over there. Oh, that's fine. I can't murder it right now. Though. It seems okay. 
All right, everybody, let's get in the car. You brought up Laserdisc. I oh, was, my gosh! Yeah, look what get, happens. Get in the car, you big idiot! Come. <laughs> Never mind, leave him, leave him! Yeah, he's looking for a server to program. Come on! What the? Get in there! Go! Oh, you guys use different... Oh, oh no! The feral! Shit! I mean, darn it! <laughs> just, let, let, him, let him go! Let we him just, go! That's our Frisbee player! No! Just left our best chance for life. Oh, I that left was them great. All. No, fine. it's okay. It's okay. They're gonna be fine. Just drive fast enough that all the zombies re despawn around them. There you go. It'll be perfect. He might get caught in that fighting for life loop forever, though. Yeah, and actually, well, I mean, they might teleport back into well, the car see, eventually. The, the the problem here is I was I was operating with my controls and you guys didn't rem don't remap anything. So. Oh, is that why you're so good, Joe? Because. No you remap controls. No, I'm sitting here. Tr I'm sitting here smashing <laughs> the left bumper, which is change seat in the <laughs> instead of accelerate. <laughs> so, um, so we actually got some disagreement from different people in the chat about whether or not we should be swearing. Some folks are saying this is an 18 plus stream and it's a mature game. We should swear all the time. And other people are saying uh -oh. this is a family stream. As a rule, as a rule, we. Try not to stream or try not to swear. That may be the third time I've ever said a swear word on the stream. Yeah. Even though our game says some of the worst stuff ever. <laughs> yeah. um, Luckily, not the absolute worst. But yeah, it says yeah. some pretty some pretty nasty stuff. But we realize that you know people just have people have different levels set. You know, for, for different things that that offends them or, or or bothers them. We had people actually mod the original state of the cage root to bleep all of the swears in the game because you know for them it's like. You know, I, they might enjoy a violent fantasy of, of fighting zombies. That doesn't mean they want to hear people be rude, you know. And so, you know, it, it, it's up to each individual what, they, what they're comfortable with. And so, oh, I got grenades. if we can make more people feel welcome to our stream by not avoiding cursing, get, then we're going to do it. Not only did you get grenades, but you got grenades you can't use. <laughs> well, those, yeah. are the best, those are the best kinds of grenades. You want to know what's funny is I didn't even know there was a special container there. So, Go to Fantasy Island or okay. Treasure Island. So little man says that he actually does have his kids right there. So yeah. So, Sorry, no, little that's man. Okay. That's I okay. apologize. I yeah. It was definitely it was definitely you know, at a time of stress. <laughs> as soon as we leave this room, I'm foul mouthed like a sailor. But I, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm close to being somewhat professional on stream. <laughs> Not really. I'm wearing tights. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's not bring that up again. Oh, Little Man was joking about having kids there. Some people do, though. We, we, we've ha talked to people who say that like this this game, that they love to play this game with their nine-year-old, and we're like, um... Oh, okay. Um, we're not endorsing that. That's the same people who brought their nine-year-old to uh, um, Deadpool 2. Oh, look, two. I got 50 caliber bullets. Well, that's a harbinger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is not going to be a 50 caliber rifle, but here we go. You'll have a, you'll have a better melee weapon now. Treasure Island. All right, all right, you mean cool. a better melee weapon that I can't use? While you're searching. Oh, hey, look, outfits, I, though. I think you should just take a break I think we have to put on outfit. outfits whenever you find one, too. You have to put <laughs> But maybe on, not immediately. No, not immediately, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, run. you should definitely wear that ninja hoodie. That's a pretty good one. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's definitely not hit the zombies. Oh, no. We'll destroy your car. Oh, yeah, just, yes. Wide open spaces. That's right. I love how all the doors are just off this car, and so you're just getting wet. You that, are getting so wet right that is, now. That's also how um, you get factory installed air, air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, there all you right, go. so we go from Fantasy Island over to the other place. It's Treasure Island. Whatever. <laughs> Still can't murder anything because we haven't looted ten, any buildings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ten might be high, but we should. Uh, dead, dead fan. Yes, wet in tights. That's. I can't imagine you. being more comfortable at any moment in my life than being wet in tights. <laughs> um. Wow, that's a cool board. Screw to me. I've been monitoring the stream directly, but I have not been monitoring the the, the folks that we missed that Megan's been calling out. So let's check this out. Hmm. Oh, purple green asked, has a chance to find Trumbull Valley outfits expired. So, uh, no, the Trumbull Valley pack is still definitely at the Bounty Broker, so you can earn those, and the ones that went into loot, we're not retiring those. So, so the Bounty Broker is the only part of the game where we've got loot that gets uh, sort of cycled in cycled and out. Cycled out, yeah. Um, and so, so stuff that you would normally find out in containers out in the world, that's all still available, exactly as it always has been. 
I even knew about that one. This yeah. is a corridor of death for you, though. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But it's a shotgun. It's a shotgun. That's, that you, you don't know. have any room for. Oh, you can you can equip it. You, you know, you can equip it to carry it if you want. I don't think they saw me run in here. Yeah. You're lucky. My game, there would have been seven ferals right in there behind me. Huh. Mix a lot is saying that there are. Oh, look, <laughs> whoa, whoa. he showed up. That's my nice. team. You guys, they're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, now get in. Sweet. That guy has like giant. Oh no. Feral bites. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, get in. Get it. We got it. We got to get to the base. We got to get to the base. All right. Here's here's the here's the secret one. Oh yeah. Wait, you, what did you do? You just punch him in the face and he leaves. With Great. the X button? No, with the Y button. Like you you're start open, getting like, out and you just knock him right off. Like you open the door. It's a bug. It's not a bug. It's an essential piece of survival equipment. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, it's it's a bug because if you look, it also causes your hands to do messed up things with the steering wheel. It was never. So the reason I even ever tested doing that was because I remember in the first day of you could do that. You could punch, you could actually like get into a fight with the zombie, if, I, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, when they were trying to pull you out of the car. And sure enough, I was hoping it was a holdover. And when I talked to the animation guys, they're like, no, that's a bug. So, um, Mixalot suggests uh, that, let's see here, that apparently uh, folks are, are saying that they're not running into the rare skill trader anymore. Uh, that's a surprise, uh, so I'm gonna make a note of that and uh, I'll, I'll look into that after, after the stream is over. Um, or maybe tomorrow or the next day, because I don't have, don't have a lot of time in my work day after the stream is over. But uh, let, me, let me just make a little note for myself about that. I've seen him a couple times in the last week. Chances are it goes back to um, some other things that we see with, with other traders that don't show up. Um, it's quite possible that um, you've got too many enclaves on your map. Yes, that's probably the most likely. Or, or they're just too close together, and so maybe you need to go and eliminate a couple, and I'll bet your traders will show up after that. Unless you're getting all the other traders who are just not getting the rare skills trader, and if that's happening, it could be that there's genuinely a problem with the rare skills trader, or it could just be luck of the draw, that's how random number generators work, and we should consider in the future using different ra randomization methods that guarantee you'll eventually get everything. All right, General Vargas has... Oh, yeah, got a has suggestion. added a rule that says when you're low on health, you only get to use one healing item. Okay. Well, what about one healing item for for, for what? For yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't type. Maybe per yeah. character change or something. Where's the screen? So. Team Chat Sean says, uh, as a creator of this game, what's your favorite thing you saw worked on in the creation process? I would have to say, for, for me, it was when Susan made that insane Halloween costume, the, uh, the swine and bovine thing. I don't think any one piece of content that anyone made made me laugh as hard as that particular one did. Uh, but it kind of arrived fully formed. Like she, she made the thing, and we were all just like, wow, that's ridiculous. As far as seeing something in progress, I don't know if that was really the intent of the question, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just proud that this thing's still rolling. You know, that we're <laughs> yeah. still. I mean, it's, it's a dream come true that this project of ours, after a couple yeah. years, is still getting new content. And you know, we're by no means a huge, mega successful franchise. We are. Um, uh, we're but respectable. We're respectable. We're, we're respectable. But uh, but it's you know, people like you guys are still are still uh, consuming this new content, and I think that's what I'm pr most proud of is because we have this game that um, that has legs, which we always wanted it to, right? Yeah. And and the fact that we're able to um, continually try our best to make it a better experience for everybody. Yeah, and that you know, and. and we realize that, that you know, we don't always, uh, we, we aren't able to fix, always fix everything as fast as folks want us to. Um, we always, you know, the, the process of making decisions about game development, it's just everything is always a trade-off. You know, you always, you, you can never do all of the things you want to do. Every time I sit down to list all the things that I want to fix and things that I want to do, I end up realizing that any time in the near future, we're going to have to cut 90% of it, you know, and, and do the ones that we can. Um, but 
the fact that you folks have stuck with us for for all this time, and that you know you've uh, you know through things like the horrific sound bug and uh, a, a lot of the other stuff that, that that sometimes took a while to fix, we really appreciate it because you know I mean this game is still, I mean we still get you know a, a few thousand new people trying it out every single day. And uh, and all of the improvements that, that you guys help us make by you know telling us when things are wrong, making suggestions to us, it makes it better for those new folks who come in and they, they get to see the game uh, in a much better state than it was when you guys first started playing it. A lot of you. Oh look, how are you feeling about those fifteen shotgun shells you just picked up? I'm feeling pretty confident that they're going to get me killed. In your burning truck. <laughs> <laughs> My truck is fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at this. I mean, those two, those, my two teammates showed up eventually. Yeah, Type Metal, uh, essentially, uh, for those of you who didn't think we had a beta set up, you guys have been our beta testers for the last year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, so many times on games I've worked on over the, oh my God, a million years I've been doing this. Um, usually you, you ship the game, you do a round of bug fixes, and it's done. And you say goodbye, and people stop playing it. Um, for me, that all changed with State of Decay. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's, it's been a blessing uh, to see not only something that, um, that I helped, you know, that I pitched. Because it's not, I don't see it as my idea anymore. It's all of our, mm -hmm. yeah. it, this is the baby of all of us. It's really, yes. we're this weird commune. You know, we're, we're kind of like uh, 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 Holden on the Expanse. He yes, has, he has like 19 parents. That's right. Uh, yeah, so we're like it's like that. So, but um, it's yeah, it's just been great to be able to continue to make this a better thing. And you know, middle of next month we'll have a lot more to talk about. So, <laughs> yeah, or middle no, this, this month. month. No, this month. Yeah, can you believe it's already February? No, I can't. I don't even know if the. Groundhog saw its shadow or whatever is supposed to happen. I don't know what's supposed to happen. Yeah, whatever. Supposedly um, it's going to be an early spring, according to Punxsutawney Phil. <laughs> well, I could use it. We've had about a thousand days straight of rain here. I'm done with that. Yeah. And I grew up here. This is not new. Yeah. I think in my old crusty age, I'm starting to get fragile, though. <laughs> it did feel like this, was, this has been a wetter winter than I'm usually used well, to. Well, it's been, yeah, uh, like Olympia had a record number of days of rain. Just solid rain. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, yeah I've been damper for the past little while than I usually am. Um, that's, that's what we call them, Jeffrey Damp Card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a few folks have asked about the, uh, the pre-order DLC. Um, that, that went out, you know, that ba well, basically, if you pre-ordered the game from a variety of different real t retailers, uh, you would get, you, you know, the ability to download sort of a bonus piece of content that would let you uh, order in some, some unique weapons or uh, vehicles over the radio. And there were like five different ones of them. And, uh, and folks are asking, you know, will we ever get the chance to buy those or, or get them if we, if we never had the chance uh, to pre-order them? And so far, we don't have any plans like that. Uh, we, we have not made any plans to make those snack. available, partly just because they're so valuable and useful to us as like uh, contest giveaways <laughs> and stuff like that. Ooh, ha having you know unique pieces of content like that that we can sort of uh, give away to folks okay. is actually kind of a blessing. You don't always uh, uh, sort of walk into a situation like that, so we'll have to see. I mean, long term, who knows what we're going to do? But we, as far as immediate uh, time frame goes, uh, more than likely. Oh, no. oh, oh get! Oh, get out of there! Okay, come on, come on. Come on. So uh, Mike Metcalf says, I love the music in the game. Can you talk about how that came to be? That's that's actually a stream or two unto itself. Yeah, we should. I feel like at some point, and I, I'm not sure how, how uh, into it uh, that'd be, but we, we should, I mean, at some point it would be great to be able to talk to our uh, our composer and, uh, and sound audio director. Yeah, audio director Kevin. He's a multi-record releasing musician himself. Yeah. And um, and his style was uh, he uh, he publishes under the name of um, Dreisk. Dreisk, and um, very soundscapey, very textural mu uh, music. And perfect for state. Of perfect decay, for really. state. He's of got decay. the perfect skill set for the kind of game that this is. And he worked uh, very closely with um, Jesper Kid. Jesper. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and uh, th they have done. They have done things with the music that, honestly, I think the music in our game and the way it's presented to the player situationally and 
contextually yeah. is should be award winning, right? It should be like right <laughs> up there with whoever else is winning awards in video game music. Um, but you know, yeah, that's how it goes. That's There's only so goes. many awards in the world, yeah. but uh, but yeah, no, we we it's it's really easy to sort of uh, to to undervalue what's because if the music is doing its job, a lot of times you don't even realize it's the music that's making you feel uh, the way you're feeling when you're playing the game. But it, it, it makes an enormous difference. Yeah, um, I mean, and, and that in combination with the ambient audio that's going on around at the same time, you know, it's it's it all works together to sort of create a mood that I think you know State of Decay has kind of got its own mood. You know, it, it, it stands. Out. What the heck? Apparently, it's a party mood. <laughs> well, look at somebody the, said that I have to loot without killing things. And you're doing yeah, a, you're doing a great job. I Except I can't find the last one. Oh my gosh. There oh, it is. There it is. Oh, oh here we In go. In the office of doom. And it's another Halligan tool. Let's uh, get out of here. Do, do, do. Now. Are you gonna fix it? I can't. I can't believe. How do you have long, time? How long has this car been on fire? Oh gosh. You no. do not. You don't. Uh, <laughs> don't have time. All right. That's okay. But All now right. that now that you're not uh, looting, you should be able to take those guys out. Oh, so you know. Well, can I kill? Can I kill them now? I mean, I think we should ask the, everybody. Like, should I try to kill these guys? Uh, so, so I think you're allowed. When, once you've left the building, you're allowed to kill zombies. Yeah, it's only, while you're looting the building, you can't kill active, zombies. It's active. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive decision here and say it's only active looting. Until somebody tells me that I can't make executive decisions. Yeah. Well, I think we already have physical evidence on our legs. Yeah. So our <laughs> so our goal is to find a 50 cal. We are clearly not restricting ourselves to only shooting a 50 cal until we at least have a 50 cal. Yeah, that's true. Once we got it though. We should use at least, I don't know, at least until the magazine's empty. I don't know what the rules should be. All right, I might have enough time now. Let's see here. Catch up. No. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh. Here, you get my mono gear axe in your face. Squish. So Sailor Wolf says uh, that, that maybe the rule should be that once you've looted the whole building, you can kill all you want. Okay. You can see that working. Okay, gotta find. Oh yeah, so we should. Uh, oh yeah. Megan just reminded everybody, you've got about three minutes left before Megan is going to close the voting, and you will no longer have a chance to get this sucker in the giveaway. We've got this fork in the road T-shirt. It is the last one uh -huh. we will ever have. It's uh, a large. It's a large. So, so bear if, in mind. If you're like double, triple, quadruple XL, and are just you know. Don't enter because you're not going to be able to wear it. Yeah, let somebody else have it. Or think of a friend of yours who would really appreciate it. Okay, go ahead and enter. This I'm sure you probably know somebody. Yeah. Uh, just think, think of your large friends. Think through your list of large friends and think if they would want this T-shirt. And, uh, and, then, and then hit enter. So, yeah. So, uh, Megan is going to uh, determine the winner in just a few minutes. Uh, whenever she's ready with that, we are going to award the prize. Oh, uh, so, so. Lots of bullets. Wants to say. Wants to know how do I enter? You type this into the chat. Exclamation point. Enter. You type that into the chat. You will be automatically entered. And uh, and then Megan's going to do some sort of uh, random number generating stuff. And uh, and we'll find out who actually gets the gets the prize. You know, it's nice. This has been a tour of all the high end. Um, That's true. Weapon cases today. Actually, I hadn't even been thinking about the fact. Yeah, you're right. It's like we're we're giving people sort of like a, a little how-to video. I didn't even know where most of these are. Yeah, I certainly didn't. And, but I, I play this game like a casual baby. A casual baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> with with his like not just for as a baby, but like a casual, casual, casual yeah, a with, baby who with, only wears a polo shirt and with, and, and, and with the pacifier hanging out the side, of, the his side of his mouth. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. Ch just you know, chilling somewhere. Totally. Uh, well, hey, We're you know what? If we if we had not if we had not repaired the car, we would be exploding right now. So <laughs> that's true. This is good. Yes, yeah. right now, Mark. This is undead. Mark says this is casual baby mode. Uh, Natasha Roy, we would be murdered if we revealed anything about the big announcement uh, before it comes. So oh yeah, we've only got a couple more weeks to wait. So uh, so just hold on to your horses, you know. And we we are going to be able to talk to you oh, about it very very soon. Just not quite yet. Uh, Stevo69 wants to know what the next stream is about. I think we can talk about that. Uh, we're going to have Brian Giami on here. Uh, he's going to be talking about uh, 
balancing and spreadsheets, uh, but he's going to be making it interesting. I promise. Uh, he's got he's got a whole presentation uh, yeah. that, that, that we're excited for you guys to see. So next that, next week's stream is going to be cool. That may sound boring, but Br Brian is amazing at making his spreadsheets. Oh, nice work. Yeah, one of the best things, one of the best skills Brian has, and in addition to his skill with spreadsheets, which is phenomenal, uh, he also has the skill of uh, being able to talk quickly and entertainingly enough that he can take even something as dull as a spreadsheet and make it really, really interesting. So he's going to be a great guest. So uh, definitely come back here next week to, to, to check him out. Well, and never underestimate the power of a spreadsheet, especially when it comes to making games interesting. Yeah, ah. yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah I actually I get pretty excited yeah. about uh, spreadsheets myself. Now, I didn't when I was younger, but the longer you work in the game industry, the more you start to understand the, 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 the truly uh, special contribution that spreadsheets make to the process. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. And in fact, Brian is Brian's spreadsheets are the reason why Joe's having a hard time finding a fifty caliber right now. <laughs> yeah, hey, exactly. look at that! More fifty caliber ammo. <laughs> wow. But no fifty caliber. And now you're kind of oh no no, no, no. You're I wasn't you worried about doing there. Oh, except when you don't pull the trigger fast enough. Or apparently aim well enough with a shotgun. So right. uh. Yeah, so uh, Flash Gordon uh, is, is talking about a, a, an issue that, that a lot of folks have, which is sometimes you know, getting kicked from multiplayer games and stuff like that, and is asking, you know, are we going to fix the servers? The problem is, our game is not actually server-backed. Yeah, like, we're not, yeah. the game, when you're playing multiplayer, it's not running on some server that we have. It is actually running peer-to-peer. -peer. Yeah. So it's about, it's about the connections uh, that you have to the other players in the game uh, that determines it. Now, our game also is pushing a lot of data. Uh, and so it can be it can be a difficult because there's just this huge simulated world, a lot of information that has to be shared between all of the, uh, the the host and all of the clients, and so that's part of what makes it very difficult uh, to make our game extremely reliable uh, on um, you know when you're playing a multiplayer. That doesn't mean we don't intend to work on it and, and try to make it better because we do, we do know that it's really important to uh, a, a pretty sizable group of our players. And so well, and these two guys seated on either side of me can tell you that I. I tend to bring up the fact that we need to fix it regularly. Yeah. Um, like at least once a week. Um, yeah, and there and there are also, there are other people on the team who are pretty passionate about it too. In fact, we've got um, we've got this board where we keep all of the ideas for things we want to do in the future, and one of them is just a scathing rebuke to our multiplayer <laughs> written by somebody on the team. So so we we, we know we yeah, know definitely. We're, we're not living in this dream world where we think things are great. Um, <laughs> the the only the only sort of aside I have from that is if we were a server-based game, uh, th they would have turned the servers off a while ago. <laughs> uh, because of the, just because the number of people, the number of people who are playing concurrently is not going to support a server farm, right? Unle unless we were, you know, finding some other source of income uh, to, to support it. Right. So. Um, okay, so let me check with Megan. She might have got an answer. Oh my goodness, she does! Okay, so uh, we have a winner. The winner, uh, it, I don't actually know which platform they're watching the stream on, but their name, oh, Megan's actually typing to me right now. Oh, Mixer, there we go. So, our winner is from Mixer, and their name is Lil Roscoe 25. Woo! So, Lil Roscoe, hopefully you're a large Roscoe because that's the size of this t-shirt. Lil Roscoe 25 is the winner. So, you're gonna get this t-shirt. Megan also has a lovely little stack of stickers and pins, just kind of one of all the little stuff that we've had lying around the office. Uh, you get all of that, plus this unique unicorn t-shirt. So uh, congratulations, little Roscoe. We're down to the point where we're just going to have to start giving away like a box of the crap that's on my desk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do. I might secretly have a drawer of the... Um, of the the Clio water bottles that I might be saving for someday when they've just run out and and, and then the most valuable thing like in the apocalypse basically I I'll be the put only one with Clio water bottles. I just put them on my desk. So <laughs> I'll pick a quadrant. We'll just put it in a box and send it to you. So okay, so we're hitting the last ten minutes. So let me uh, do a quick sort of rundown review of all, <laughs> of all the stuff that we've that we've talked about. Here's here's what we learned today. Number one. Uh, how bad the suppressors got with the release of update 14 was an accident. It was a bug, and due to uh, you know Joe and several of our players really working hard to diagnose what was going on, uh, we were able to figure out what, what happened uh, and push a fix out that didn't even require a full update. Um, and so 
So that has been fixed now. The disastrous uh, uh, suppressor bug is gone. However, we did actually uh, intentionally tune down the efficacy of suppressors um, against characters with health. Uh, they also are a little bit louder um, on, on the high end, on, on, you know, the higher calibers are a little bit louder. Um, that was intentional, and uh, the, the purpose of it was we wanted to make uh, uh, you know, the, the, uh, basically a more of a balanced relationship between brakes and suppressors. Plus, if you get out there and start using brakes, because you're going to see them knocking down zombies and, and taking limbs off and doing a lot of um, heavy damage to the zombies. It's, it's, I actually run half and half now. Oh, I have yeah. suppressors, and then I have the other half of my my crew running um, uh, breaks, and it's actually a lot of fun. Total crowd control. Yeah, so. I also I, I really love like the Target Mark III is one of my favorite guns because it's just so you know, like you know, quick and accurate, and uh, so I, put, I usually put a break on it because it's already naturally pretty quiet, so the the increased sound doesn't like, make that much of a difference, and uh, and now it can actually do a lot more you know a lot more damage than it used to uh, to even a crowd of zombies. Well, I mean even even armored guys it it yeah. can it can knock, knock them down. Knock their hats off and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, I mean they're totally useful. I love it. I love. Minus the problems with the suppressor bug, I love the change to uh, to those two systems. Yeah. And at the same time, though, we are listening to folks who, who are been giving us some critical feedback from that. And so we're going to be looking at it again and making sure that, uh, that, that we're actually happy with the changes. And, uh, you know, if we come up with some better ideas, you know, this game is still alive. We are still updating it. And, uh, and who knows what might, you know, what might come in the future. So we really appreciate uh, all the feedback that folks give us. Even if they give it to us in an angry voice, that's fine. We're grown-ups. We can handle it. Uh, and so, you know, we, we, we just love the fact that you folks are engaging with us and that you know that uh, when something, uh, when you don't like something, that you can come talk to us and we're going to hear you. So, so that's really important to us. The other big point we wanted to make was that uh, last week's announcement of the uh, of the bundle up pack uh, was not the big announcement that we've been teasing uh, right. since December. That was not it. Obviously, that was a very small update, and the reason it was small is because we're working on another big pile of things that we can't talk about quite yet. But we're getting very close to the point where we can. Uh, so sometime. Middle of this month, that's when we're going to be able to talk about it. We're getting very, very close. And so please stick with us. Uh, there's going to be streams, announcements, all kinds of things uh, to, to let you guys know what is going on. So please stick, stick with us. We really are excited to be able to share this. We're sorry it couldn't happen this, uh, last month, but it's going to happen this month. And, uh, you know, we, we want to talk to you about it. We're, we've been desperate, actually, for months to be able yeah. to talk to you about it. So We've been very busy. Yeah. And uh, what else we learned today? We learned what uh, Brant and Joe look like in tights. Oh so, my God! You know, we've got uh, we've got so mm. many good things going on. Look at uh, those! Look at those! Oh, mm. that's just—it's beautiful. Mm. It's beautiful. It's a minor, work of art. Minor Buffy the Vampire Slayer tights. <laughs> and you got some. Joe's are uh, Bob's Burger tights. Yeah, I got I got Tina. So big thanks to Tina Fallout Girl for making this entire thing happen. Uh, she's one of our favorite savers. Yes, thank you, Fallout Girl. I'll yes, never thank forget you so much, this. Since they obviously bring out the blue in my eyes, and I can't wait to come up with to open my big mouth and get Jeffrey in trouble. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's things you could say. I don't think I, I really. Oh no! I, again, I think I'm way too I'm vain to ever seat. show up in get tights. Out, get out! Get out! What? What is? What? Oh, are you we almost got the blades of glory. He almost got killed we because are. he couldn't get out. No, it's because I. I told you my control system is different than yours. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you you, do, you have a lot of custom keybinds, don't you? Yeah. Well, just a Nice! Well done. Wow. That is a great way to end the stream. Unfortunately, there's seven more minutes, and so it's going to be anticlimactic. <laughs> but... Way to ruin it, Joe. Oh, yeah. Well, I got three sites completely looted oh. without murdering any zombies while doing it. And uh, so, you know... Typed Metal says that you should get me to shave my head. I will do it. <laughs> Should we shave my head on the stream? I will do it. I have clippers 60 yards away. <laughs> it's I mean, right there. We my house. definitely need to get uh, a drop cloth and some real, really good vacuum cleaner because uh, this is not. Why don't, why don't we get that house. vacuum cleaner head shaver? Oh, a floby? Is that what that totally is? Totally floby my head. No, we're not buying one of those. Uh, we can't get the budget for that. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think we have the budget for a floby now. For a stream floby. <laughs> Just, just so that we can do it on stream, of course. <laughs> Type Metal says they'll pay for it. And uh, oh, Dunedain says said I, I should get a hot pink mohawk. That is a color I haven't done before. And I won't do the hot pink because I know I'd end up just covered in hot pink, and Jeffrey would not 
Yeah. There'd be no color in your hair. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you'd probably just have a hot pink beard at the end, and I would have nothing exactly. going on up here. Exactly. So, yeah, I was, I was going for Brant's beard color uh, with my hair this time around. Mm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, I can totally do hot pink. Everybody knows it's gray, Jeffrey. I, thanks I'm for sure pointing my, that I'm out. Sure my, I'm just saying that I, that I, that I admire you. This my head is basically yours turned upside down. That's so... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. No, if I shave my beard, if I shave. That's my beard. actually how Jeffrey describes me when he's Mark, trying. Mark says, just Mark says this, "Imagine my head upside take down." Take this, flip it around, and look for that guy. That's yeah. what you're looking for. Mark says that you should just have me on stream to to use safety scissors to take That's out Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, Dunedin asks if AI is being worked on. Um, so we, there are uh, some subtle tweaks that we've been working on in the background. As far as a full-scale uh, reapproaching of, of AI, that's a thing we would love to do. Uh, it's, it's sort of on the list of, of, of you know, like the wish list for us. It's, it's pretty high on our internal wish yeah. list. Uh, what, yeah, but one of the issues, you know, we got to just find, make sure that the right people are in the right place at the right time to get it done. Uh, but we, we know that that is probably, I mean, that between that and the flying cars, uh, those are probably sort of, we know that those are among possibly the top two, that and oh, maybe the multiplayer uh, issues. Those are probably the top three, if I, if I had to name them offhand what I thought the top three issues for the community were, uh, it probably would be those, uh, as far as bugs go. As far as requests go for like brand new features, that's not the top list, right. but, uh, but yeah, so can't make any specific promises, but we, 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 we do hear you. And we do, and we do uh, go through the... Uh uh, the wish list. Yeah. You know, I've, I actually, you know, I went through, it's interesting, it was kind of fun to sort of compare the internal wish list that we made to the wish list that came from the audience and find the matchups and find all the places. So basically, I, I was posting little hyperlinks all over the place, like, okay, here's this idea that we've been talking about doing for a while, and guess what? Nine different people requested this, um, you know, on, on, on the wish list, which is at, by the way, I should, I should call out, uh, support.statedecay.com. If you'd like to add things to our wish list, report bugs that you're running into, uh, make sure that we know about the problems that you're facing, go to support.statedecay.com. Uh, Joe here is the guy who runs it, and uh, he's you know been really great at, uh, at sort of bubbling up to us the things that are going on in the community. And so uh, if, if you want to have your voice heard, definitely go there. There's lots of different ways to do it. You can also follow us on social media. If you watch this on YouTube later, down in the doobly-doo, we'll have links to all of our social media stuff. Uh, there's our Discord. There's all kinds of ways to get in contact with us. But uh, but yeah, that's that's a really good one if you want to if you want to make sure that uh, that we're paying attention. Constructive criticism is the best way to get our attention. <laughs> that's true. Because we can we can look at any one of these places and say and realize that we suck or we're lazy. <laughs> but but for us to actually um, you know really uh, try to address your issues. Uh, yeah. Being detailed and specific is more important than being angry. Yeah. Uh, be, being angry, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll listen to you either way. Detailed and specific actually helps us make a difference. That's right. And if you haven't been to support.statedecay.com in a while, uh, and you have made reports in the past, you'll notice that the reporting has changed just a bit, not, not a huge amount. Um, but it should be easier for you to report issues and look through, um, look through what's already there. Uh, in terms of articles and what might be helpful. Perkaholic, one of your que the, your questions about uh, a presti getting prestige into the main game, uh, we're not ignoring that. It's something that is stack ranked in our yeah. internal discussions. I, I actually wrote a document over the weekend talking about the things that I thought would be really important to do. That was on the list. Yeah. Uh, that was very high on the list. Uh, but, you know, there are lots and lots of things on the list and that's that's the big problem is that you, you, you refer to it as a simple thing like prestige in the normal game it's actually not a simple thing that's an economy economies are very complex and doing it right takes a lot of time and effort from designers and uh, and not to mention the work that you know making any changes involves you know UI and programmers there's a lot that goes into it and so you know we have to sort of do these things we have we have a limited number of people and a limited amount of time and so we, you know, we, we stack rank stuff, we decide the order to do stuff in, and how much people ask for things makes a big difference to how we stack rank this stuff. Uh, but we, we, it's like we're trying to force things through a very narrow funnel. And so we, we're, we're gonna do as much of this stuff as we can, and we're gonna try to prioritize it the best we can. 
that means that for a lot of people in the community, the thing that's on the top of their personal list isn't necessarily going to be on the top of our list. Uh, not because we don't care, but because we, we're trying to do the top of somebody else's list. So we're trying to do as much as we possibly can. So we thank you for your patience. And, uh, and it looks like it's 4 o'clock, so we should get out of here. Unless you had one more thing you wanted to say? No, you're I'm gesturing like you're I'm like I think the tights are actually cutting off circulation too. <laughs> so we should get out of here as fast as we can. <laughs> All right, well thanks everybody for being here. We love you folks and uh, you know, we should say goodbye to uh, to Joe and Brant. The thigh goodbye, master. Joe. The thigh master and the caps of steel. I <laughs> If I can do it, old man, you can. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that popping? That wasn't the chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to make sure that the camera can was off before Brant's dance. I actually live here now. I can't. <laughs> My pelvis is locked. Yeah, okay, let's give Brant a break and get out of here. <laughs> At least for another fifteen seconds. Yeah, nobody will hear this though. They've already gone back to their lives. Come back mm. next week. Brian is gonna horrify us with some spreadsheets. And I think I am gonna just take a box and dump a bunch of stuff in it and give it to Megan to give out. Sounds good to me.